Hi, I'm Tom Salta. I couldn't be more excited to tell you about Auto Bounce's latest new feature, saving job sets. This has been the most requested feature amongst all Auto Bounce users, and for good reason. When you save an Auto Bounce job set, you are saving everything, every parameter in every job for instant recall. Imagine you spend 15 minutes setting up an entire list of jobs in Auto Bounce stems, mixes, various ranges, wet, dry, mastered, unmastered, all with specific naming conventions. And now let's say you realize you made a mistake or the client requests some changes or you revisit the queue in two weeks and you make some updates. Now Auto Bounce will let you recall that entire job set identical in every single way and bounce out that entire set again. It's truly amazing. Let's check it out. Okay, so what you are looking at here is my logic project for the main theme in all the menu music to the video game score of Deathloop. I have Auto Bounce already scanned the project and I have already set up my mixes and stems the way I need to run them. So I have every single section here as a separate mix and a separate set of stems right here splash menu morning menu noon afternoon evening the juliana menu then i have the main theme mix the stems for that and the unmastered mix as well okay now this took me a little while to set up maybe 10 15 minutes because i wanted to make sure that the naming convention was exactly right so it includes you know the way i have the sequence number and then my custom name tag, splash menu, and all of that. So all of this is exactly right, and we're ready to run the bounces. But before we do that, we now have the option to save this entire job set. It will default to the name of the logic project for your convenience, but you can take advantage of this feature by creating multiple job sets for this project or any other project. In this case, I have already saved the job set and I called it Deathloop All Mixes and Stems. So if I hit save and I made any changes, I can replace it. But what's incredible about this is that let's say I wanted to come back tomorrow and do the same thing again, or you know what? I don't want to do the same thing. I just need to run the stems. So I can either load up this entire job set like I just did here and, you know, say just delete certain things. Let's say I just want to delete the mixes and whatever, and I can run just that stuff, or I can save a different set that has different job sets. So for example, let's say I just want to do all the mixes for the menu. So I'm gonna load that one up. This set has just the mixes for the menus, right? Or let's say I wanna do just the stems for the uh, menus. So let's see, let's look at my job sets here. Uh, menu stems only, boom. So I can save and load as many sets as I want. It's truly incredible. And you're not limited to only uh, having one logic project associated with an auto bounce job set file. You can actually use an auto bounce job set file as a sort of template for naming conventions and the kind of mixes and stems you need to run. Let me show you how that works. Now, I had another logic project open from the same score, but the project was for a completely different area in the game Deathloop, right? Now, the same naming convention needs to be used and the same stem formatting and the same mix formatting needs to be used for each of these different maps and the logic projects. So Auto Bounce will allow me to kind of save a job set, which represents a vertical slice of one of those areas. All the mixes I need, the correct naming conventions, the correct stem conventions, everything. And then I can load a different logic project and load that same Auto Bounce file into the new scanned logic project into Auto Bounce and match everything up the same way so everything remains consistent. Let me show you. So here is the new logic project that I've opened up and I wanna export the same set of stems and mixes in the same way with the same naming convention as I did in the previous logic project. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna load that auto bounce job set file 
that I saved from the other one. Okay, now AutoBounce is going to detect that there are differences in the projects. The track list is different, the AUGS channels are different, and the master out insert names are different, right? That's okay, it's just going to reset them. But it has retained the naming conventions up here, it's retained the job names and all of that. So it makes it really easy for me to uh, recreate and make sure that everything is going to be the same so that when I give it to my client, everything is very consistent with no errors whatsoever. What I have to do now is just reselect certain things. So for example, in the dawn area, the bars aren't going to match up. So I just have to make sure that one, I'm going to rescan the cycle range. All right? See this? Watch this should well, that happened to be the same coincidentally. Great. But now what I want to do is I want to make sure that I am selecting what's necessary for dawn. So as I can see here, I have the midnight here selected. So I'm going to deselect that. I don't need these and I'm just going to do dawn. All right? And I'm just going to go down the list and do the same for these. So now this is going to be noon and I'll do evening. I see the bar ranges are the same, which is fine. That saves me a little time. Okay, so that was noon. This is evening. I do night. Midnight, there we go. I'll do a fight intro in this case. I'm gonna make sure it's selected. I'll go to fight intro and I hit rescan cycle range. Good. Well, I'm getting lucky. This, this, <laughs> the ranges are exactly the same in, in these projects. But if they weren't, it would have updated right there. So in any case, that should be good to go. Now I'll do the fight loop. I'm sure that will also be the same. But just in case it's not, all I do is I select fight loop here, select it there, and I hit rescan cycle range. All right, then those numbers will make, they will update if necessary. And I'll do the same for the fight end. Okay, right there. Fight end. Rescan the cycle range. See? And in these mixes, I don't have to worry about selecting only portions. All I, I don't care. Just everything should be turned on and ready to go. This area, the dawn noon, evening, night areas are the only ones that actually have custom track selections that change for each area. But that's it. I'm ready to go. Every other setting is good. Uh, the naming conventions are set up. Look, evening, ex exploration, evening. I already see that I have my naming convention, DL, music, exploration, evening. It even gives me the, the tempo, which it reads. The time savings is incredible. And now you're just ready to run a whole new job set. I hope you enjoy using the new save and load jobs feature in AutoBounce. More videos to come.